There's a few different avenues that you can get there for, for rate cuts, yeah. um, even with inflation still above their target. One would be that you get a recession. That would very clearly lead to cuts next year. There's an alternative route to, to rate cuts, and that's the one that the Fed has been talking about most, most significantly. And that's that as inflation comes down, they basically cut rates so that their policy doesn't become too restrictive or too tight over time. And so they forecast 100 basis points of rate cuts next year purely on, on that type of story. I think it's all a question of magnitude. If we were to get all the way back to 2% without seeing growth slow and the labor market loosen, a fantastic outcome from, from the Fed's perspective. Is that perspective. even possible? We, we think it's unlikely. I think an environment which we could have is that you get inflation down to 3% relatively easily based on the fact that supply side is being resolved and you're seeing some other pressures come off. Shelter inflation is going to, to, to decline. But getting from three down to 2% might be a more difficult environment without growth slow.